Hello. <clears throat> We're just going to be talking about the white paper a little bit today. Uh, the white paper is actually not due to the last day of class. However, this week we do have the white paper proposal due. And I want to make sure before you start your proposal that you actually have a plan in mind because I'll be giving you feedback as to whether or not this proposal will work or not and what kind of things you should consider when you're looking at them. So the first thing you should know is nothing in this class, nothing I assign is meant to just be random practice writing. It's meant to always be working toward a final goal. Um, the little things you've learned through about active and passive voice, about uh, you view, bias in writing, all those things are should be fed into the type of writing you do for the rest of the class. So um, to the, doing the right pa white paper proposal is meant to get you in line for your final white paper um, and make sure you have a plan. So <clears throat> this is actually a paper. It's a problem, identify a problem and suggest a solution type of paper um, in an actual industry in a very specific business. And you will be focusing on, this would be something you would give during an interview as a sample of your writing, or you would actually give it to them when you're during the interview and you're talking directly to. So, you know, thinking about, say, an ideal job or a job that you really would like to work at when you leave OU um, or a company you'd like to work for and looking for a problem or an issue they have. And that doesn't mean you can't Google, you know, what, what are the problems with, you know, General Motors or whoever it is you're interested in um, or what issues are their largest. Um, but it does mean that you should be prepared. This paper should be written to a very specific audience. So whether you're writing to human resources, are you writing to the vice president, are you writing to the manager of a particular company, um, who, who will handle it? You know, is there a social media group that handles it? So it has to be a very specific person in a specific company. And it should be, so, or it could even be about an emergency, an emerging issue in your field. Um, there are examples in the white paper um, proposal and rubric. There are examples that I gave you this week during the audience search that people have done. You do not have to do those. Those are just what other people have done in the past. Uh, you're going to have to have three to four scholarly sources as well as um, your, your uh, popular sources can be involved in this as well. Um, we will be posting those eventually and I'll be having to approve those as well because I want to make sure they're actually going to be useful for your paper. But I just wanted to give you a little heads up when you're sitting down and you're trying to write this proposal. Um, you take it very seriously. The more effort you put on the front end of really thinking about the issue and what you want to present to a company, uh, the less time it will take you to write the paper in the long run. In the past, other students have written about decreasing employee turnover by redesigning the job application. They've talked about decreasing shrinkage in a company's theft type of shrinkage um, and how to do it different ways. Um, they've talked about having like mobile point of sale like McDonald's does where you can order it or a tablet at the table, at table side tablet ordering to save time and um, make for fewer, uh, I guess, waitresses or wait staff or avoid turnover issues or uh, problems with um, incorrect orders. Um, a student wrote about changing hotels because of COVID and because so many people have gone online and so many people are remote working now. Um, changing hotels, which used to hold business people traveling, um, into apartments. So that was an idea. Some people have written about the chip shortage, whether you know we should have our own plants here? Should we have an agreement with another company where it's where they're, they're, only, they're our only manufacturer? Um, there's intrinsic motivation in getting people to do things. People have written solutions about that. Training improvements to decrease turnover. So um, somebody wrote about Starbucks uh, and trying to return that over, turn, uh, reduce their turnover. turnover. So just to give you some ideas. And if you have any questions, please feel free to meet with me. We can meet face to face. We can meet um, in Zoom. And we can talk about kind of spitball your ideas around and see what would be best for you. But don't waste your time just, I'm going to kick out a paper and be done with this class. 
do something that you actually feel proud of that you can use during an interview that you could show them and say, well, here's something I've considered, you know, about your company you might be interested in. And, you know, that puts you miles above other competitors. So, all right, I'll leave you to it. Uh, email me if you have questions, uh, call me, uh, whatever works. All right. Thanks.